Okay. All right. I'm going to just go ahead and get started because I want to share this message on my YouTube channel for the people that support me over there. So I started uh, a couple of days ago talking about, you know, um, the law of gender. This is how this all started, the law of gender. And I told, started talking and using a term called the alpha male and the alpha female that is often used in the physical reality to explain a certain type of masculine energy, right? And I use that term because that's the term that I would hear when, you know, I would see you know, post that was going against the so-called beta man, like he, he's, he's no thing. But when you really become conscious, you can find good in all when you begin to see God through all things. But I just wanted to, to you know, start that off to let you know why I'm speaking about this here. But they, they, that video kind of went viral and a lot of new people came to my page, you know, and, and God is all experiencing itself. So we ain't going to have just all of the little conscious people that's going to come to visit my page, you know. They're going to have some non-conscious beings that's going to come because it's all two-sided here in this physical reality, right? But the thing that I noticed when I was looking, because I'm a seer, when I was looking at the comments or looking at the, the picture of the people that was replying, you know, I noticed that they have so many hurt men in the physical reality. Yeah. You see, I normally, you know, I normally don't talk about like relationship in the alpha male, female stuff. I don't really care about that. Yeah, I really don't. And I, I often follow since I am a lady, you know, I follow men and I can see other women in their comments and I can see, you know, the hurt women because I'm a seer. I normally see them. I normally experience them. But being that I'm a lady and I'm posting, I actually attract because that's how we, this thing work, right? I attract men to my page. And I've never seen a bunch of men in the same room together that was hurting in, in, in similar ways, right? And because of that, I want to say this here in, 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 this is strictly coming from my heart, men. And I, in, in, in the heart is an electromagnetic form of energy. So I'm coming from my heart in order to touch and penetrate you and reach you at your heart to the depth of you. So what I notice is I notice that there are some men in the physical reality that never experience unconditional love. There are some men in the physical reality that I noticed that was on my page that was orphans maybe. Maybe they hated their mother maybe because maybe their mother was a whore to them, you know, in the physical reality. Maybe she had never evolved in her journey to be a lady per se. And maybe, maybe she, she didn't, she never probably put that man, that little boy rather, close to her bosom and love on him and show him what unconditional love was because maybe she as the mother didn't even know how. There were some men in the comments that don't even have a mother, you know, that was just sent away, never had anybody to love them or show them what love is. Just like we have this so-called woman that's exuding masculine energy that's going through trauma, we have men that are going through trauma too. And it could very well not be your mother. It could very well be that first woman that you did fall in love and you tried to love and she left you. She left you and she refused to love you unconditionally as is. Whoever that lady is, that woman, excuse me, is in your journey, pretend, or should I say, imagine that I am that person. Imagine that I am that, that mother that you hate. Imagine for a moment that I am that lady, that woman that left you, that didn't love you, didn't accept you as is, didn't see greatness inside of you, didn't see the God inside of you. Imagine that I am her for just a moment. And on behalf of her, I would say to you, if you could just look at me in my eyes for a moment, I would say to you, mister, I am sorry. I feel so sorry for your shitty story. 
I feel so sorry that nobody ever loved you the way that you deserve to be loved. I feel so sorry, and if I could touch you today, I would give you that, that hug. I will hold you in my bosom, and I will teach you or show you what unconditional love is supposed to be like. So now that I have said I'm sorry to you, I want you to know this here, that you are God in physical form. And now, because you've heard finally that sorry that you've been looking for, I want you to go forth and be God. I want you to go forth and make the ending of your story the best story possible. I want you now to open up your heart to the idea of loving. And I'm not going to ask you to love a lady just yet. No, 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 no. The first person that I want you to love is going to be yourself. Because a lot of you are empty inside. And in order to be filled up, you got to fill up yourself with love for yourself. You got to get to know yourself because everybody is not against you. Because I truly am not against you. I am for you. But if you knew yourself, you would know the ones that be for you and those that would be against you. If you were not so separate from yourself and so into the physical reality, you will be able to feel me right now and understand what I'm saying to you right now. That it is coming from the depth of my soul and my heart directly to yours. Because at your best, you are love. You are God in physical form. And I don't resonate with everybody as much as I resonate with the black man because I'm a black woman in this physical reality. And you are not animalistic in behavior. You are not a chaotic mess. You are to me the prime example of the closest example of God in physical form that I have put my eyes upon. And God is love. God is love and I encourage you to love yourself, baby. And when you get enough of juice of love inside of you, when your cup runneth over inside of you, then I ask of you to give, you, give some love to somebody else. Give them of your overflow. Give them of your abundance. But don't spend the rest of your days chaotic and feeling and experiencing emptiness, feeling and experiencing dis-ease and disharmony in yourself black man because I am not your enemy I am the one that you thought up to come forth to help you on your journey you thought me up to come forward I am not the enemy so on this page here I look forward to you showing me and showing yourself first of all that you're God and that you can be do and have anything in this physical reality that your heart desires including having love for yourself because that's where it starts it starts with yourself and everything that you're experiencing outside of yourself is because of what is inside of yourself that chaotic mess that 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 that, that ability to just want to go off and wish somebody would all of that is coming from within you that, that inability to see the good or find the good in a situation is because you have no good right now. You low on good for self. As within, so without. But it is my promise to you that I am not the enemy. And if you stay on this page, you can find out your greatness because I am going to keep telling you over and over and over that you're God, that you are powerful, that you're love. Okay, I just wanted to clear that part up on my page. So don't follow me if you think we 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 gonna be going back. I don't do debates. I don't do battles. I'm not gonna be going back and forth. I'm gonna I'm gonna like every comment. I'm gonna give you a heart. I'm gonna ask you when you're trying to so-called diss me. I'm gonna ask you how your day was. How you feeling today? Because I know that that is what you really secretly need. That's what you're really crying out for anyway. Just a little bit of attention that you didn't get from maybe the person that you gave your attention to. You didn't get it from them. I'm going to give you that what you are lacking. Okay? I love you. Be blessed, babe. This video was from my heart to yours. I'm going to look at these comments right quick, but I'm about to go and give me something to eat. I just wanted y'all to see, I know, yeah, that is a child. Yeah, beautiful. Yes, let your cup run it over. You feel it, good, just as long as you feel it. 
and, and carry that with you inside of your heart every day. Every day. Because we, we, we just hear right now wrongs. And that heart should be put to use. You didn't come here empty. You didn't come here void. You came here full of all. You just probably lost a little bit or got a little numb to it. You know how they say in the in the biblical text, the heart wax cold at the so-called end days or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, because we've been through so much. Lifetime after lifetime. But throw out that heart, baby. Rinse that broken heart off, baby. Let it beat again and get yourself back on the throne, God, and love again. Okay? Be blessed, baby. I gotta go. I'm not gonna stay long today. I love you, babe.